get ready to rumble. All right. Because here he is, Mr. Entertainment. Live from RVA, packing the truth and nothing but the truth. It's Preston Brown. Preston Brown. It's time to get down with Preston Brown. 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 TV show. All right, I just want to mention the Commonwealth of Attorney, City of Richmond Commonwealth Attorney's Office. And it's a, been brought to my attention that they have a very serious, serious problem going on with, with one case. And I'm going to give you a little background about the case. This police officer, Detective Spouse, down in Chesterfield County, that they caught that was fooling around with evidence, fooling around with paperwork. Let's put it this way. He was caught lying. So what Chesterfield did was dismiss the cases that he was working on because you don't know how far a lie can go. And the way they feel about it, if a police officer is not being honest and truthful on one case, how can you be sure that they were dishonest on another case? So whatever cases they had pending with this detective, detective spouse, has been dismissed and he's been fired in Chesterfield. Now where the issue comes in, he had one case in Richmond. So what the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, and we need to talk to Ms. McGeechan and find out what a reason they are doing this, is they don't want to dismiss the one case that Detective Spouse had in Richmond. Only one case, and they want to dismiss it. And on my research, it's called the Brady Gigolo Violation. It's, and what basically what it is saying is you have information, you're supposed to turn it over. So the, the, the defendant uh, attorney can read it, the prosecutor, all the evidence is supposed to be laid out for you. They got a lot of hidden evidence in this one particular case involving this, this police officer from Chesterfield who's the lead detective on this case. He lost the case in Chesterfield against this person and then he bring it to Richmond and form a new case. So you, you know that informants, most informants are criminals. They got picked up for some other crime so they go out and try to create or get somebody trapped so they can turn them in so they can lessen their time. That's what an informer does. And then when you have informers that will get on the stand and lie, and then you come across a police officer that will, will court lie, then all the evidence should be tainted. And like they did in OJ case, if you court on a lie, you cannot let it fly. And what I want you to do today is call the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, Ms. McGeechan, and tell her whatever case detective spouse had, we'd like to see it dismissed. Because if you catch a police officer in a lie, you cannot let it fly. If you go to court and they catch you in a lie, they'll give you five years for lying. They call it perjury. But a police officer who's supposed to have the trust of the community, if you find a police officer who have broken the trust in the community, you need to do what Chesterfield did. Fire him. Get rid of everything he's working on because you don't know what part is a lie. And that's not being done on this case. And this case comes back up in May. So it's not something we need to sit on. We need to get moving on it right away. And I don't know why in the world where they're still trying to force this case when you caught a police officer lying. And that's not good for the community. So it's not going to be hush-hush because Famous Brown know about it now. If I smell it, I'm going to tell it. So we caught a crooked police officer. Now, I'm not saying all police officers. But when you catch one that's not right, you need to get him out right away. And they caught one line, and all his cases should be dismissed. 
has been dismissed in Chesterfield, and they should do the same thing in Richmond. Let's get to our next video. I'm Famous Brown. Nobody gets down like Famous Brown. Not in this town. Well, that's our show. Get down, get down, get down. Once again, we got to go. to Burton. <laughs> Yeah.